Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am getting so much done. I am hanging some new lighting, setting up some new furniture, cleaning up in the house, doing some baking, and getting ready for a little bit of travel. If you guys are new here, my name is Amanda, and this is my channel, Amanda's Daily Home, where I love to share homemaking videos, motivational videos on cooking, cleaning, just getting stuff done around the house. Before I get started with my busy day, I'm going to sit down with my drink and answer some emails. I'm making myself my Colon Broom High Fiber Dietary Supplement. I just want to make sure I get this in before I have breakfast this morning. I've been drinking Colon Broom because of the many different health benefits. For me, I was mainly looking to improve my mood and give my energy a boost. Colon Broom has so many more great health benefits, including a feeling of lightness in your gut, protecting your intestines, cleaning your colon, keeping you regular, plus it is vegan, gluten-free, and non-GMO. And the other great thing is that Colon Broom helps you lose weight when you use it with a balanced diet. Right now you can join their biggest sale yet and get six months worth of Colon Broom with up to 65% off. Don't miss out on this limited time offer. You can use code HOME10 and get an extra 10% off your whole order. So you guys can click the link in the description box below and grab your discounted batch of colon broom while stock lasts. So now that I've gotten my morning routine done, I just wanted to give you guys a little peek into what it's like for me as a busy hockey mom. So. On this day, we are packing to head out of town. We have a two night trip, so it's not too long. I can just throw some stuff into our backpacks and we're just taking a quick little jaunt to Pacey's school. They're having like a little preseason thing going on. So it's pretty exciting. So we're crossing the border into Minnesota. And this is why a lot of the times it takes forever for us to get anything done around the house because we are juggling work, hockey, and trying to get our house done. So I just wanted to give you guys a quick little peek into what like our lives actually look like because I don't often share the hockey stuff with you. So this is us at the hotel. I took the little guys to the pool area. They're having a quick swim. And then of course, we're gonna be heading to the rink to watch their brother and this is a little clip of some high school hockey it was so much fun to watch the hockey is really great and i'm really excited for the upcoming season and i just wanted to mention that i've had a few sports moms reach out to me and just mention how it's so nice to have a fellow sports mom just like talk about what it's like raising a family and juggling all of the other responsibilities on top of a busy sports life. So if any of you guys are sports moms, feel free to chat with me down in the comments. I love talking with you guys about this kind of stuff. Anyhow, that trip was really quick. We are now back at home. As you can see by all of these boxes, I had so much stuff to pick up at the border store where I get a lot of my things shipped to, including a new couch set, a table, lighting, just all sorts of stuff. So it is mass chaos right now in the house. Like all the stuff we unpacked from the truck is here, a few of the groceries we picked up while we were away. So it's just gonna be a busy time getting everything cleaned up. But one of the things that I was so excited about picking up was some new lighting for the house. I have kept talking about getting the lighting finished off in the house because we installed all of our um, recessed lighting, the pot lights in the house, but we haven't really done like our accessory lighting. So we are finally going to be installing a couple of pieces. So the light I chose for the primary bedroom is the 22 inch cashmere industrial gold reversible crystal fandelier ceiling fan with lighting and remote control you guys this is like the cat's meow for bedroom lighting not only is it elegant looking with the chandelier look but it also has a fan in it and it's controlled with a remote so I am obsessed with this. I could not be happier with the light. I would buy it again and again. So 
I love it so much that I'm also going to put fandeliers in the boys rooms now they have like more masculine looking fandeliers so that's fantastic because obviously I don't want to put crystal ones in their rooms but I cannot wait to get get those in there for the boys because once they saw my light they were like obsessed they wanted one for their room now Jeff is going to get started with installing the lighting. While he's working on that, I'm going to be folding some towels and this is the remote control. So I'm just gonna keep that on my night table so I don't lose it. While Jeff is doing that, like I said, I'm just going to fold the towels and if he needs a hand, I'll be right here because he's gonna need my help lifting up the light once he has all the wiring done. Alright, so now that Jeff has all of the prep work done to hang the fandelier, I'm just going to get those towels, set them aside, and then help him get this light up. It was so funny because while he was putting the wires together, this thing was pretty heavy, so I was like getting so tired, so he kind of had to take the light from me because it was just heavy for me to hold for too long, but luckily, we got that up really quick and I, like I said, I'm in love with how it looks. Charlotte was being so funny. She was like weirded out by the fan and she kept looking up at it like, what is this thing? So she was just being so cute. Right away, she's like sniffing the air. Yeah. All right, boxes everywhere. And now we've got a another light. So this light is the Chouinard 3 light natural wooden drum chandelier. I absolutely love the way that this light looks in this space. It is right above our dining room table. It is a transitional light and it mixes elements of wood and metal to create a rustic modern look. It's exactly the look that I was looking for for this space. And honestly, the chandelier would be the perfect focal point for any space. Not only this dining area, but like a living room, a bedroom, entryway, foyer, stairway, basically anywhere that you want to keep your space bright and welcoming. So the lights I use today in this video are from Parrot Uncle. I will leave the links to the lights down below in the description box and I also have a coupon code for you guys down there for $10 off of your purchase. It is PU10 but like I said everything will be linked down below for you. Now I am so excited to move on to the next thing I have to do. We are unboxing our brand new living room furniture. I am so excited that we finally 
are able to do this because our other couches were complete trash. I was so unhappy with the quality, you guys. I'm not going to be shy to tell you they are Ashley couches and they were built so cheaply. I was so disappointed. So this time for our living room couch set, we decided to go with a set from Majura. Majura means modular in Japanese. They take a modular approach and combine it with premium materials to build long lasting quality furniture without compromises between cozy, affordability and style. That was so important to me since our last set fell apart after only two years. I honestly could not believe how cleverly this was all packaged up for shipping. I noticed a zipper compartment under the couch and as soon as I unzipped it, the couch cushions came out. I had no idea it was in there. I didn't even bother looking for a manual or anything. I was just excited to unbox everything. And it was so easy to set up. It had the folding back, which makes it so much easier for shipping. So you just flip that up and then you pull off the extra fabric because that reveals the Velcro. And then that prevents your cushions from moving. So everything fits perfectly into place. And if you ever want to pack it up for moving again, you can just take those cushions and put them right back into the compartments. I was like seriously impressed with how smart this was. Originally, I really wanted to go with a light color couch in here, but after seeing what happened to our last couches, they were a cream color and they were so hard to keep clean. So we decided to go with these. The look I'm going for in this living room is like a black or really dark um, material on the fireplace, a nice chunky mantle, and then these kind of like brownish couches. Anyways, I have this vision on my Pinterest board and that's kind of what we're, we're going for. So piece by piece, it's all going to come together. And you guys, the Majura furniture is like top quality stuff. It is nothing like the couches that I just threw out the door. <laughs> they are made with the finest materials. And the one thing that I really love about it is Majura has their own manufacturer. So you are not paying for all of the middlemen and the export agents and the wholesale showrooms and then the warehouses and all that stuff it's literally majora's manufacturer straight to you so you are saving a lot of money it is way cheaper than going with other luxury brands i love the quality of these couches so much that i literally was just looking on their website to see which couches i could pick out for my basement because once we get this whole like second floor and main floor mainly done, we do want to get our basement finished and I would love to get another set of Majora couches down there as well. If you're looking to check out new furniture, make sure to check out the Majora website. I will leave it linked below down in the description box. I also have a 5% off coupon code for you guys, so that is awesome. The code is Amanda's Home, but like I said, that'll be linked down below. The other awesome thing is that they ship right from their warehouse in LA and it's free shipping on all orders. You guys, I'm so excited with how much we got done in this house in the past couple of days. It looks so different already just by adding some new furniture and the lighting. It's really making the space so much cozier than it was. Our space, since it's not like completely done yet, sometimes doesn't really feel cozy and I really was missing that cozy feeling. So I want to add these little touches to the house to really make it feel warmer. One of the things that's really bugging me is those kick plates are not done in our kitchen yet. The cabinet 
maker is supposed to come at the end of August. So hopefully it'll be all done by then. I really want that backsplash done in here. Lots of stuff I keep seeing every time I'm editing the video and I go back and I see clips, I see things that I want to get done, but um, slowly it's all getting done. So I'm just happy with what I got done in this video. So I just need to be grateful for that. But now that those things are done, I do want to tackle the kitchen. I've got some cleaning to do in here. So I'm just working away in here, putting the mess away, especially because we were working on other things in the house. Um, the kitchen just kind of blew up. So main priority right now is just to get this all cleaned up. so the island is all cleaned up now but the dishes are kind of like running away out of control on me here so I need to get a grip on this right now I'm just loading up the dishwasher we're gonna run that and we're just gonna get as much done as we can tonight today when I'm filming this video is a weekend I believe it's on Sunday so I'm just gonna get as much done as we can here and then I'm gonna take some time to hopefully watch a movie with the family been a really long day of trying to get stuff done around the house including the lighting the furniture all that stuff so I just want to get as much done as I can here tonight I'm going to probably leave a bunch of these dishes for the morning I know it's not my favorite thing to do but at the same time I'm tired I'm exhausted and I just want to spend a little bit of time relaxing Alright guys, so I am up bright and early. I'm just going to be making some cornbread muffins for Jeff's lunch today. So I started packing his lunch, but we're running low on groceries because we were out of town and just been crazy busy. So I just decided I'm just going to make the muffins today. Now the pantry is a complete disaster right now. As you can see, I can't even see the countertops in here. So that's going to be a whole nother video, but I'm just going to make those muffins because he's going to be stopping in at home shortly and I will have his lunch ready to go. And actually the other reason I want to start making more like baking at home like muffins and scones and stuff like that is the prices are insane at the grocery store and we have like four growing boys plus my husband so we go through so much food so anything i can make at home to save some money would be ideal i made 12 of those muffins for like literally i don't even know maybe it was like a dollar or two it couldn't have costed that much 
but if I went if I went to the grocery store and bought a pack of those muffins it probably would have been at least like six or seven dollars so I just really have to try to plan to do more meal prepping at home and for anybody who is wanting to make this cornbread muffin recipe I used the recipe from creme de la creme.com and the recipe is called best moist cornbread muffins they were perfect I really wouldn't change anything at all about the recipe and I love how she suggested using honey butter it was so delicious So right now what I did was I did all of the dry ingredients in the pink bowl, all of the wet ingredients are in the red bowl, and then we're going to go ahead and combine those, stir it until it is just moistened, and then those are going to go into the muffin tins. So today I'm using my silicone muffin, I guess you wouldn't call it muffin tins, you'd call it muffin molds if it's silicone, but um, when you use the metal, I remember my mom used to always call it muffin tins. So the silicone molds are so handy though, you don't need to use any paper linings or um, spray it down with any kind of oil or anything like that. It just comes out so nicely. I'm just going to go ahead and fill each little muffin container with the batter. We're just going to go basically like three quarters or almost all the way up and just leave a little bit of room for those muffins to grow. Shouldn't they light in my near and far? Shouldn't they at all just tell me where you are? Send a prayer if I'm out of All right, now we're gonna get those in the oven and let those bake. And I just love the smell of fresh baking in the morning. I remember when I was little, I would love waking up and smelling the kitchen if my mom was making something. And one of my best memories actually is on holidays when I could smell the turkey dinner. And usually it wasn't the turkey yet, but it was the stuffing. She would always fry up celery onions and mushrooms to go into the stuffing and that was like one of the most comforting smells and every time i make turkey dinner now i always make her stuffing recipe it always reminds me of that Said I better root if I lose my course. Count on my company and alrighty so muffins are ready now i'm just going to go ahead and take them out and we are going to take out a wire cooling rack pop these little muffins out and let them cool for a few minutes these look so delicious i'm going to pack up a couple of these for jeff's lunch and it'll just be so nice to give him something freshly made at home in his lunch because he's had some really long hard days lately And here I just went ahead and made a little bit of honey butter. I just took some salted butter, squirted some liquid honey in there and just mashed it all together. I'm sure probably like the creamed honey would be better for this, but I didn't have any on hand and this worked perfectly fine. So it was just super good. I highly recommend that recipe if you like cornbread. Mm -hmm. 
All right, so now here I fast forwarded a little bit. I did a whole bunch of cleaning off camera just because it was like chaos in the kitchen and there was mess everywhere and kids everywhere. But here we are, dishes are all put away. I'm just wiping down all of the counters. I really wanna do like a deep clean on the main floor, especially now that we have the couches in here and we put up the new light. I'm just like in the mood to kind of get everything cleaned up. That way it is just easier for Jeff to get other work done around here. We also have like three or four boxes that still hadn't been unpacked in the kitchen. So I got those things put away and we're actually gonna have a nice fresh and clean slate in the kitchen here with all that stuff put away. You guys, it is so hard to get the kitchen and just the whole main floor actually perfectly clean because I'll get like 95% done and then somebody will come in and wants something to eat. So I warned the kids ahead of time. I was like, okay guys, like I am done the kitchen here. Everybody has to stay away for half an hour because I want this area completely done. I want the floor vacuumed and mopped and everything put away. So they were pretty good about it, but it was really hard for them to hold out without eating or coming in for a snack for that long. And yes, the moment that I finished cleaning this main floor, they came in the kitchen for food. So we had pancakes after I was done filming this part. So the last part that I'm doing for this video is just like washing all of the floors and then that leaves everything like almost perfectly clean down here. And I'm going to take you guys on a like a little mini tour of the main floor and just kind of show you the things that I really want to get done around here ASAP. Like I said, we're like busy juggling all sorts of stuff, but little by little we're doing things. So I just want to show you what I want to work on next. Okay, so now that I've gotten the main front entrance area cleaned up, as you can see, these stairs are driving me crazy. It is still just the plywood. We originally were going to do hardwood there, but I think we're gonna do carpet now. These walls here are primed. So they've got like splash marks and dirt marks and you cannot wipe that stuff off primed paint. Our thermostat is still the temporary thermostat. Our fireplace doesn't have the finishing on it yet, so that I'm really excited about because I know exactly what I want to do there. Back to the couches. I'm so happy with these. The quality you can see up close, it is like so nice. I keep admiring them and touching them every time I walk by. That's why I kind of got distracted when I was showing you guys the stuff I want to get done in here. But I just wanted to kind of like give you a little peek at them one more time now that they're all set up nicely. Also, the trim work around the windows is driving me crazy. I can't wait to get that done. And then, of course, in the kitchen, now that I have the light above the dining table, it makes such a huge difference in here. Like, the, I don't know what you call it, the ambiance. Like, it's a game changer for sure. And so, I cannot wait to get the kitchen island lights in because I feel like that will really make the space a lot warmer as well. So we've got the two kitchen island lights, the one light above the kitchen sink, and then the one more light above the floating shelves that will be installed um, beside the windows. So that is gonna look super nice once that is done as well. Here am I, meant to find. But that is it for this video today, you guys. I feel like I got a lot accomplished. The main floor is looking so much better. 
I did notice one more thing that was driving me crazy. The doors aren't painted yet and they're primed and you can see all the fingerprints on there. Same with the nail holes, that's gotta get done. So we're gonna be tackling all of this stuff as we can. But yeah, that is it for my video today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please make sure you guys are subscribed. Click that little notification bell so you guys don't miss any of my future videos. And I'll see you guys next time in the next video. Bye.